Cauda Aquina Syndrome Cauda Aquina Syndrome occurs due to compression of spinal nerve roots L2 and below and is caused by disc herniation or rupture, spinal stenosis, tumors, infection, hemorrhage, or iatrogenic injury. In adults, the spinal cord ends at the L1-L2 vertebral level, and the lumbosacral nerve roots below this level form the cauda equina, which floats in cerebrospinal fluid. Lesions at vertebral level L2 often affect the conus medullaris. The cauda equina provides sensory innervation to the saddle area, motor innervation to the sphincters, anal and urethral, and parasympathetic innervation to the bladder and lower bowel. The saddle region is the area of the body that would be intact with the saddle when sitting on a horse. This region includes the groin, the buttocks and genitals, and the upper inner thighs. A cauda equina lesion causes lower motor neuron signs as the nerve roots are part of the peripheral nervous system. In contrast, a lesion in the conus medullaris causes both upper and lower motor neuron symptoms as the conus is part of the spinal cord. Patients with CES usually present with gradual onset of severe back pain with unilateral radiculopathy, saddle area numbness, hyperreflexia, and marked asymmetric lower extremity weakness. It's different from conus medullaris in that patients with CES tend to present with severe radicular pain that is bilateral, saddle anesthesia, hyporeflexia, asymmetric motor weakness, and late onset bowel bladder dysfunction. Patients with conus medullaris syndrome present with onset severe low back pain, paraanal hypoesthesia, symmetric weakness, and early onset bowel bladder dysfunction. Management includes emergency magnetic resonance imaging, neurosurgical evaluation, and possibly intravenous glucocorticoids.